Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to do some basic HTML, um, teach you about it, and let me uh, first say that uh, if you have any HTML experience before this, um, unless you are doing this as a refresher, it's probably not necessary that you watch this because it's going to be very basic. Um, next thing is that I will begin to show you how to write HTML. Um, the main tag is the um, HTML tag. This tag is basically um, the tag you're going to use on every every site that you ever make. Um, it basically just tells the um, web browser that uh, it should start interpreting this as HTML. Anything inside of this. Um, this uh, less than slash is how you close tags. Um, how you open them is this less than, and then between them is the greater than. That's how every tag looks, and every tag has to be closed, except for a couple, but I'll kind of point those out later on. The next tag that I'm going to show you is the head tag. This tag um, is basically anything that you don't necessarily want to display on the page, but you still want to include. So, for instance, like a title. Um, this won't display on the actual page, but it'll still display in the browser. I'll show you how that works. Um, let's say I call it home. If I go to my browser and I refresh this page, uh, as you can see right here, it's, uh, must, oh, I forgot to close out of tag. <laughs> then you know how important it is. If you don't, um, close out of your tags properly, it will mess things up. But, um, now it's called home because I named it that in the title. Um, that's an important tag. Uh, inside the head tag, you can also do like metadata, which um, search engines look for. Um, you can like add keywords to the site, which uh, search engines will pick up on and add. Um, also, you can like add a description. Um, but before you go off running wild about the whole adding keywords and stuff, just know that uh, a lot of search engines will blacklist you if you had too many um, too many keywords and too much description. So just keep that in mind if you ever make a website because that would not be cool to be blacklisted. Um, other things you can do inside the head tag is um, including JavaScript or CSS, which is definitely out of the range of this video, but maybe in future videos um, I will uh, do some stuff on that. Um, the next tag we're going to look over is the body tag. Um, the body tag is basically everything inside of here will be displayed on the web page. This is one of the more important tags. Every website should have a body tag. Um, if you just start typing in here, this will be displayed. Um, the next tag is the B tag. Um, the B tag, just anything inside the B tag is going to be bold. It's just a formatting tag. Um, then there's an i tag, which is also a formatting tag for italic. Um, anything inside of here will be italic. Um, the next tag I'm going to talk about is the um, br tag, which stands for line break. And this tag is the exception to the closing tag rule. Um, I think it's the only exception as far as I know. Um, you can add this slash at the end, and that basically means that this is a self-contained tag. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't need a closing tag. And basically, the line break tag um, just creates uh, one um, space, like you know, hitting the enter key or whatever. Um, because uh, as you'll see later on when I show you the site. Um, by default, HTML doesn't include line breaks. It uh, All these hellos will be on one line. Um, the next tag I'm going to show you is the um, H1 tag. This is the header tag. Basically, everything inside of it will be really big. And it's um, used for making like the most important information on the site huge. Um, it's kind of a formatting tag, which means like it's 
basically just used to make things big, but once you start learning CSS, um, H1 tags become a lot more useful because they're basically like boxes that you can format and design and do kind of whatever you want with them. Um, they, uh, you can also do um, H2 or H3 and so on and so forth. I think it goes up to like H6 or H7 or something. Um, and each number that you go higher uh, makes the text or font size by default smaller. Um, and the next tag I'm going to show you is the paragraph tag. This is the P tag. Um, it works very similarly to the line break tag, except for it's kind of a box that has padding on top and on bottom. Um, I'll show you how that works. Let me save this and show you what this looks like so far. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as you can see, uh, on these hellos are all in one line, like I said they would be, um, because uh, there's no line break tag. Now if I moved this line break tag above these, um, you'll see, once I save this, uh, that there is one that drops down. And this H1 tag um, basically puts padding above and below. It's a box, and that's why it's separated and has uh, line breaks around it. It's basically, it's not a line break. It's actually padding. Um, we can go into that later, but then um, I should actually, to demonstrate this paragraph tag, um, I'm gonna do a little bit better job of demonstrating this. Um, as you will see, uh, whoops, I'm not sure what I did there. Oh, right, I'm being crazy. Um, here we go. Um, so basically, uh, it just has like padding above it and below it, kind of like, um, kind of like the H1 tag, just less. And it's not, it's kind of like two line breaks in a way, but it's more for containing paragraphs kind of like indenting them or whatever. Um, you know, nothing too exciting, but uh, that's the P tag. And um, I'm gonna show you guys a site um, where you can get more information on HTML. Um, and that is w3school.com. The site is uh, is awesome. It has tons of, it, of information and examples. And it also is not limited to HTML. It has a CSS, JavaScript, XML, um, ASP, PHP, SQ, SQL, and all that stuff. Um, if you guys want to learn that stuff, that's a good source. But uh, also, you know, rate and subscribe um, if you like this video. And, um, and if you'd like to see more, let me know. And I would be happy to make more videos and maybe make some on like CSS or JavaScript or something like that. Um, Thank you for watching, and yeah, cool.